Hello everyone, what is going on? Welcome back to the shed and welcome to part two of rebuilding the Starlet rear calipers. So in today's video, I'm hoping that we get these calipers completely finished, completely rebuilt and done. I've been here already. I have the calipers fully um, sandblasted. I have them all primed. These are cured now, so they're dry to the touch. Um, everything came out pretty nice. I have them all ready there. I have the black paint ready to go. So my goal for this evening is to lay down the black base coat on it. I still have the clear matte clear coat that I have used on the interior. So what I'm planning on doing is putting black down on it, letting it cure with the help of this uh, area heater. And then getting some clear coat on it, letting that cure and potentially getting all the seals and stuff in place and getting these calipers rebuilt, which would be very nice. It would be a very nice day to get done. Um, yeah, I want to stick around. I've got a load of work to do, so let's just jump straight into it. Very quick update, we have all the calipers painted. Now, I just have this one pulled off of the rack that I have from the for painting, just to show you the finish that's on it at the minute. I'm hoping that the clear coat that I'm about to apply should pull away an awful lot of that gloss and leave it with a nice um, matte finish, which is what we're, which is really what we're going for with this one. But um, yeah, they look pretty good. I'm fairly happy with the, with the paint on it um, again. Shouldn't be as glossy as this, and even if it is, it's not the end of the world, but the Mac clear should make that perfect for us. So let's get on some clear coat. Freshly painted, clear coated, all of the mask and tape and everything gone off. Um, still seem a fair bit shiny under the light. What I did notice with the interior when painting um, the interior with this matte finish clear coat as well is, even when it was kind of dry to the touch, it still seemed a bit shiny. And then when I came back the next day, it was perfect. It had dulled down, so I'm expecting these to kind of flatten off a small bit as well. It is getting late in the shed, but we came this far, so I think I'm going to stay and just get all of the seals, everything laid out here. I'm hoping to get these rebuilt tonight and done tonight. So I'm going to set the camera down. We're going to rebuild this one. I still have the other ones um, still hanging up over there. Um, I'll take one at a time. I know that this caliper has is for all of these parts here, <clears throat> minus obviously everything that we're placing, which is 80% of it. So I'll set the camera down and we'll start getting this thing back together.
pre-built rear caliper ready to go so all i'm going to do is use a bit of youtube magic to rebuild this one three two one done caliper is rebuilt piston is fitted all the new seals new seals and the sliders handbrake assembly is fitted the only thing that i don't have fitted is the little bracket for the handbrake cable themselves <coughs> because i've misplaced the bolts for them but i'm still very very happy with that so now that they're finished i'm going to leave them there overnight i'm going to let the paint fully harden and then we'll get these on the car and then that's kind of the brake assembly then fairly much done really really happy with how they turned out um when the when the you can even see the clear coat kind of starting to cure already <clears throat> and it's uh it's coming out exactly how i wanted it so yeah really happy the rebuild itself was actually relatively easy the most uh, the most awkward part was really just getting the uh, what's it called the little um spring and odd kind of a stopper i suppose to sit down in behind the piston and then get the little uh Saw clip <coughs> in there but other than that it was relatively easy um, I found that putting on one side of these rubber boots first and getting the slide pin in and then pushed kind of out towards the top was easier than trying to slide it up through and get it to seat into both of them so I did that with this one it was much easier um, yeah fairly happy with that everything everything went kind of according to plan for once which is which is good because usually something goes wrong, but nothing really went wrong. Set myself a big goal of getting everything blasted, painted and rebuilt in one night. It literally took me the entire day to get this done. So anyone thinking of doing this, put a day aside for it. Um, it does take a while. But yeah, that's the brake assembly very much done now on the car. These can go back on, everything can get fitted up and we're another step closer. So. I'm going to leave the video there. Uh, thanks a million for watching. Thanks for watching part one and part two if you came this far. Um, yeah, we'll catch you in the next one where we get even more jobs done to this, Darlet. So we'll see you later.